again here at Emerald Coast Pro Plus Detailing in Gulf Breeze, Florida, and we're going to be giving you some pro tips today on how you can take care of your ceramic coated car touchless, uh, without laying a finger, a towel, a hand, anything on it. Uh, this is a great uh, weekly maintenance option that will help keep the dirt off of your car and keep your ceramic performing beautifully. We have a couple components here that are essential in this touchless process. I'll just kind of go over them real quick. Uh, we have some bug remover, which that's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, this will help break down those bugs, get them off the front bumper, the grill, the headlights, things like that. Uh, we have our pH neutral shampoo cleaner. We have a foam cannon and we have a leaf blower. We also have a pressure washer, which you'll see in a minute here when we actually start to demonstrate it. Uh, those are pretty much the key components that you need. Some bug remover, a neutral shampoo, a foam cannon, a pressure washer, and a leaf blower. That's all you need to do this. Uh, like I said, it is a once a week uh, maintenance uh, thing that you should do, service that you should do for yourself. Uh, it will help keep the dirt and the gunk and the grime and the bugs off the coating, help extend the life of the coating and help it keep it performing the way it should. Um, doing something like this takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it will go miles for the performance and the longevity of your coating. So we highly recommend our customers uh, to do this because it really does help. Um, basically just setting up everything uh, the bug remover, um, typically any bug remover that you were to purchase, um, it does come concentrate and you have to dilute it. Um, so this is a 10 to 1 bug remover by 3D. We do carry this at the shop uh, for people who are wanting a quality cleaner at an inexpensive price. Uh, we do have this. Uh, next is also a 3D uh, pH neutral shampoo. Uh, some people call it a soap. Shampoo is different because basically it doesn't have any waxes, any oils, uh, any silicones, any additives. It's a straight concentrated cleaner that is neutral. Uh, it's rated at seven, so it's not alkaline based, it's not acid based, it's just a straight cleaner. Um, what that will do is focus on breaking down the dirt and removing the dirt. It won't offset the pH of your coating and your coating will continue to bead or sheet or however it reacts uh, with water uh, and, and help keep the surface clean. Uh, it will also help break down um, certain minerals and certain things that may start to clog up the coating, so that's why it's always great to have a shampoo. Um, so what we do with this is we basically put about 100 ml in the foam cannon. Um, I'll kind of walk forward here. Um, so the foam cannon is rated at 900 ml. Um, we're going to put about 100 in there. Um, now some people put in a little bit less. Um, more isn't going to hurt you, um, but that's really all you're going to need. So. This is already set up good to go. What I'm gonna do here is just pour roughly about one ounce is really all you need. Um, like I said, you can go a half ounce, but that's roughly about an ounce. So you can see how a gallon like this, I've had this gallon for about a year, maybe more, <laughs> and it goes very far. So um, this is an absolutely fantastic cleaner and you won't waste any product. So. Uh, this is the four ounce mark right here, so we're right at about one ounce here, which should fill it up right to around 100 ml. Uh, so we put one ounce of product in, or 100 ml, whichever you want to say. It's actually less, it's about 50 ml, I lied. And then I'm just getting the rest of soap out of there. So basically all I'm doing right here is just filling this up with some water because we do need water in the foam cannon. And I'm just trying to get the rest of the soap out of this real quick. So Topping this off with water. So we've added roughly about an ounce or 50 ml. Like I said, some people like to add a little bit more, 100 ml. Um, not really sure if that's needed because, like I said, this is a very concentrated uh, cleaner. Um, so now the foam cam is ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our pressure washer out and we're going to demonstrate to you how to do this touchless method of washing your car. All right. Uh, so here we have our. Uh, test vehicle or demo vehicle. Uh, we have ceramic coated this car with our one year coating. Um, so what we're gonna do is just show you this touchless method 
on how you can basically just take care of your car. It's something like I said that can be done once a week. Uh, it's very quick, it's very easy. There's no need for any towels. Uh, all you need is basically what I described in the beginning of the video. A pressure washer, a foam cannon, some bug remover, a soap, and a leaf blower. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is rinse the car off. We want to try to knock off as much dirt as we can with just pressurized water. So uh, what I like to do is start in the front of the car here uh, because that's where we're going to spray the bug remover. Always, always, always uh, have the car wet before you use any sort of uh, bug remover because a bug remover is enzyme based so it can be a little, a little caustic. So um, we want to at least get the surface wet. Uh, just for, uh, for some extra solubility and uh, make sure it's not hot. Um, it's a very, very key uh, tip here is, especially if you live in Florida or anywhere where it's warm, do not do this in the middle of the day. Uh, do this very, very early morning, 7, 8 a.m. before it gets too hot or, you know, right now when I'm doing it, which is about 5.45, 6 o'clock, um, you don't want the car hot, okay? Um, Heat is a catalyst, it will re, uh, accelerate the reaction so it can cause the soap to stick or give you water spotting or activate nasty things that are on the car. So the cooler the car, the more relaxed the paint is, the better. Uh, so what we're going to do here is just kind of demo it just on the front of the car here, just so you kind of get an idea of how everything works. So first I'm just going to kind of rinse the car down. somewhat staying cleaner the water's repelling off more and up here it's kind of sticking because that's where all the dirt is so the dirt is starting to build up and it's affecting the way the coatings work so we're going to foam this and help remove some of that dirt to help get it repelling the dirt and get the self-cleaning abilities back so what i'm going to do now though is just take the bug remover because uh, i've hit the front here and there were some bugs that you can see a little bit better. Um, now, the, just the pressurized water has kind of knocked them off, but I'm just gonna miss this on the front here. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. It's very important to uh, try to get bugs off in a timely manner. Um, bugs have both stomach acid and enzymes, uh, which are both very caustic in nature, and they can affect the coating. Of course, the coating will protect the paint, but it can still damage the coating. I kind of mentioned how heat is a catalyst. Same thing, when you have a stomach acid and internal enzymes from an insect uh, on the front of your bumper, heat will accelerate the reaction. Uh, and it can really do damage to a bumper within hours, you know, during the summer. So it's always important to get those bugs off uh, as soon as possible. Even if you're just doing this through the front of your car, uh, it can go dividends and, and, and really help the, uh, the, the aesthetics of, of the coating hold up. Because uh, if it does kind of eat through that coating, you know, essentially what you'd have to do is have come to somebody like me and remove it and uh, kind of do that over. So getting the bugs off in a timely manner, I highly recommend. So I'm gonna rinse that off now and then foam the car. much knocked most of those off so now we're going to go ahead and foam the car. I'm going to get just the other sides a little bit more wider here. Alright so now we'll go ahead and attach our foam cannon, set a regulator, and we're just going to foam the car. Alright so the whole car is foam. We're kind of letting the shampoo soap whatever you want to call it, <laughs> shampoo. Uh, just kind of eat away at the, crime, at the grime. Uh, we're going to rinse it off here in a minute, but I wanted to show you guys, we only used about 400 milliliter total. Um, so like I said, when you do that, that 50 ml, 60 ml-ish around there, that's going to get you two of these, these, these touchless washes. If you have a smaller car, you'll get even more. This is a, pretty much a full-size SUV um, and foamed it very thick. Um, and of course you can adjust your regulator to have it go a little bit less, but 
uh, really, really thick, beating the dirt, taking it off. Uh, so what we're going to do here is rinse it down, and then we're going to air dry it. So get ready for another time lapse. Since we have uh, rinsed the soap off, and it's kind of boosted hydrophobus a little bit. Um, it still needs to be cleaned by hand, but you can see that it's better. Typically, we want a nice strong bead. Um, there still is some sheeting going on because there is still dirt on the surface. We're not getting all of the dirt off. Okay? We're getting most of it off. Um, Again, this is something that's repetitive. You want to do this about three times during the month and then hand wash at the end of the month. Uh, it's quicker, it's easier, it'll help keep your car performing the way it should. When dirt builds up, it attracts more dirt. The more dirt that builds up, the less it's going to repel other forms of dirt and water and things like that. So the cleaner we can keep this surface, the better. And this is really a great way to do it. So you can see I you know, rinsed it, I did the bug remover, I foamed it, I let it sit. You can let it sit longer. Um, but again, it's not hot out, there's minimal, there's enough sunlight to where you can see what you're doing, but it's not, you know, direct sunlight, blazing down, drying everything out. I can leave this water on here and it's no big deal. So, what I'll do now is just uh, leaf blow this, dry it down. Um, this is nothing special, this is just a, a Walmart style leaf blower, um, and I'm just going to dry it off. too crazy with the glass and everything I'll do it here in a minute again this is just for demonstration purposes but just to show you um, how just doing a touchless system uh, on your car can, can really pay dividends you know um, again the key component here is touchless we don't want to use any rags we don't want to use any towels anything like that um, right now all of the dirt is not off the surface so if you need to take a drying towel or something like that you could potentially scratch and swirl it so if your car is that dirty Go with the traditional two bucket uh, wash method. I have a video up for that. Uh, but this is my touchless method that I highly, highly recommend. Um, if your car sits outside, if it's constantly exposed, if it's a daily driver, um, this is definitely something that I would recommend doing uh, once a week um, because, like I said, it will help keep the dirt off the surface and help keep that coating performing the way it should. And then at the end of the month, uh, do a two bucket hand wash. And again, like I said, there is a video on that. So I'm going to finish drying this off here, uh, but again, because I'm not doing it in the sun, I've got some, some time to play. So uh, I will post some tips here at the end of this video, uh, just so you guys kind of have that uh, in written form as well. Uh, so look for those tips here at the end. It'll kind of recap everything we've done. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my pressure washer won't shut off, and it keeps telling me, hey, it's time to go. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this pro tip, and uh, please like and subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions, and happy detailing. Thank you.